Aquarius. Welcome to your July 15th through the 30th tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Today we're going under the sea with the under the sea tarot deck and the dolphin and mermaid oracle. So that's really exciting. But you're definitely going to want to subscribe and hit that little bell icon below so you'll be notified because in August, I already have a plan, we are going to Wonderland together. This is the Tarot Wonderland. It is such a beautiful deck. You're going to absolutely love it. And I have like this whole thing planned. Um, it's going to be amazing. So you're definitely going to, going to want to join me in August. So let's get started. What is the central theme? It's a friendship. Is the central theme of your reading today. Make a date for play. Make a date for a play day with one or more of your friends. So you need to spend time with your friends. That is the central theme of your reading today. So what is going on with Aquarius internally? What is going on inside of Aquarius's head? What is going on inside of Aquarius's Three cards for what's going on inside of Aquarius's mind. Okay. So justice could be a Libra. The King of Cups reversed and the Page of Swords. All right. So first we have justice, which is a Libra. So whatever's fair or just takes precedence. Um, it's exactly, you're exactly where you deserve to be. This is the laws of karma. There could be legal matters on your mind. It could be a marriage. It could definitely be a marriage. And then we have the um, King of Cups, but he's in the reverse. So whenever he's in reverse, he's overly emotional. He's moody. He's depressed. He's sulky. He's a con man. He's unloving. He's repressed emotions. He has addictions, he's alcoholism, he's drug addiction, he cheats, he doesn't trust, he's stressed out. So you can be very stressed out. You can be thinking about somebody who uh, displays those traits, where that's just how you are internally in your mind. And then we have the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords is news of legal matters. So with the Justice, you could definitely be thinking about like a lawsuit. It could be a traffic ticket, um, contracts, conflicts, gossip, stressful news, um, hospitals. This could be hospitals, so like a, it could be a health issue. Um, defending yourself, you feel like you're always defending yourself here. And with justice, it's the legal system, so you're defending yourself there as well. Okay, so what's going on in Aquarius's family and home life? Aquarius's family and home life. Three cards for Aquarius's family and home life. All right, so I have the full reverse. So there's reckless behavior, childishness, immaturity. All right, uh, eight of swords. So there's a self-enclosed prison, you're blinded, you can't see a way out, but there is. And then we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Um, so this is the full reverse. This is reckless behavior. I always see this as an Aries. Uh, taking risks, foolish, uncalculated risks. This is the Eight of Swords in the upright. Um, so this is frustration, bad attitude, um, not being able to see a way out, being backed into a corner, feeling victimized, trapped, isolated, ignoring advice. And that's the card of Gemini. And then I have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So this is challenges, breaking bad habits, getting out of addictions. And in this one, you see how there's that family, and he's just, 
in the upright, he's going towards and defending his family. In the reverse, he's walking away from his family. Okay, three cards for Aquarius' money, please. Three cards for Aquarius' money situation, please. Three cards for Aquarius' money situation, please. So we're carrying on into career. Career one to go. So wants me to read it as is the line. So money and career both came out. All right, in terms of money, we have the um, queen of shellfish in the reverse. So there's a manipulation here. There's jealousy, being in easily influenced, being a fashion victim, being clingy. Um, there's revenge, scandal. We have the lovers, which is self-love, um, the magic of falling in love, decisions, deciding. This is Gemini. Someone could actually be interested in you at work. That's what that can mean. That can mean that you have somebody who's interested in you romantically at work. And then we have temperance in the reverse. So this is inappropriate behavior, wrong action, poor timing, not learning lessons, excessive behavior, instigating fights. We have the tower. There's going to be sudden drastic change. Judgment reversed. Um, so this is Refusing to listen to your inner voice, being irresponsible. The three of tridents, heartbreak, turning your back on the past, looking towards the future, making a decision. I don't know why I said heartbreak. It just came out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. It just came out. That card doesn't mean heartbreak. I don't know why I said it. It just came out. I almost didn't even feel like my voice. It felt like someone else just took over. All right, so what's going on with Aquarius's romantic and social life? Three cards for Aquarius's romantic and social life, please. Three cards for Aquarius's romantic. starfish in the reverse. So this is coming out of the cold. Um, somebody threw you out. There might have been a cutting communication. This is coming out of poverty, coming out of the cold. And then I have the five. The five of shells. It won't come up. <laughs> I, can't get, I can't pick it up. I have the five of shells in the upright. So this is sadness, loss, regret, focus on the past, regretful, Scorpio energy. It's very sexually charged. And then I have confusion, chaos, a lack of clarity. Lost opportunity, lack of planning. Three advice cards for Aquarius. All 
right? We have the empress reversed. Um, there's a lack of growth. You're being unproductive. There's a lack of development. There could be affairs here, immaturity, and manipulation. There's a time to be nostalgic, a time to look at the past, a time to look when you were free, idealistic, childlike, looking at your children, your memories with your children. There's a lack of long-term vision. There's limited success or rewards. Because of apathy, because of depression, because of not looking at what you have. Dolphins represent friends. You're not looking at your friends. You're looking at what you don't have. The grass is always greener on the other side. treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So there is a treasure. Get ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. All right, Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, have a wonderful day. Oh, oh, oh.